All right, Shalom. Welcome back to the channel. Jonathan, the Code Searcher, here with you. And obviously, some of you didn't catch it with Rabbi Glazerson. Uh, you know, I happen to see a, a, a video he just put out yesterday. And you guys, it's only got 120 views. I think it's possibly one of the greatest code finds the rabbi has ever put out. And this is the one I'm talking about, guys. Have, have, did you realize what he was saying here? All right. Um, let's just back that out a little bit. Can you guys see that? The days of salvation. The days of salvation. Do you, do you understand? Look, 120 views. This should have got a million views yesterday because the rabbis actually. <laughs> Come on. You understand what's going on here? What he just found? The days of Yeshua, the days of salvation, the the, the days of Yeshua. Let, let's listen to this together. If one have this program of Bible called, can check it. So what you have here in black, Yemot, the Yeshua from the top. Yemot. Yeshua, you see that Yod Shin Vav Ein He, the days of Yeshua. Days of, but it's the time of Yeshua of salvation. The time of Yeshua. Well, you have expression. We're gonna look at a code here in just a minute. Shall days of Messiah? But I mean days, the period, the years of Messiah. I mean years that Messiah supposed to come if you repent, if you do Shuva. They sound like. What we call labor pens of Messiah. So therefore one should have So what he's basically saying here is the days of Yeshua or the days of Messiah. We, we, you got to do what? Repent, right? He he has the word right here, uh to the right margin. You see in reverse, Teshuva. Teshuva is repentance, right? Understand this idea. Yemot Yeshua days period of Salvation, which is according to Kabbalah, the last years before Messiah. The last years before Messiah. All right, so I know there, there are several of you looking for a rapture. We're going to talk about that in just a minute, right? All right, so we got a code to look at. Thousands the days of Messiah, the days of repentance, opinions, the days of salvation, the days of Yeshua. You, you see where we're going with this. And we are, everyone agrees that we are now in this time, which is called days or time of salvation of Messiah. The time of salvation. Yeah. So once in the Torah, by the way, you have your, your boy Yosef, your Joseph will come, and you have by this way also Ephraim and Joseph. Because before the coming of Messiah, son of David, son of Joseph will come mainly. All right, so what he's saying is before the son of David, before Yeshua comes, you're going to have the son of Joseph here. And you see that Yosh, uh, Yabo Yosef. Yosef will come. That's at the top of the of the code there. But he's also got an anomaly that goes off the side there. And we're going to talk about just that in just a moment. But also we found an anomaly here that obviously the rabbi has not seen. We're going to talk about it. it's a mystery. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna flip when you see the meaning of that column right there. You can see faintly the mem, the tab, the aleph. Uh, excuse me, the olive, the mem, the, 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 the amet is here, actually. Um, we can't really see it on his, but you're going to see it on the, on, on the same exact code, pro, uh, uh, code table in just a moment. You're going to see what it actually says there, but it's uh, it's kind of faint here. You can't really see it, but. To fight and to bring the end of enemies and to see my, yeah, against Israel. Then comes the son of now you can see it just a little bit. You can see a uh, met, a uh, met, which means truth right there. Okay. David, definitely bring the son of Jesse. We'll show the world about the Torah, about the importance of keeping the commandments for Jews and Gentiles. But before you have your yourself, so we are now in this time of days of salvation. Unbelievable phenomena that nobody can argue <laughs> is what you see here next to it coming from the top to the bottom. 
Shana? All right, so what he's talking about is Shana Tav Shin Pei Dalet, which is the year. that It says the year Tav Shin Pei Dalet is what it's, it's, it's actually specifying a year here. All right, and then it has the word Torah that goes off this way. Five, seven. Five, seven. The year five, seven. 84. So you have a sentence. Shana is a year. 5,000. 784. Once is the Torah. All right, so what he's talking about is Shana Tav Shin Pei Dalet there. It says the year Tav Shei Pin Dalet, which is this year that we're in now, um, going into next year. But also right here, you have the word Torah that is right there, right? Wow, unbelievable. Then you have Torah, because in manage of keeping the Torah, will Messiah and Elijah will come. We also have Elijah, which is an ac abacus effect here. Um this is this is talking about the El Yod Hey Vav Hey, but if you take the first uh, two letters and the first three letters of the, of these two words, you've got Eliyahu. So it's an amicus effect. And then, as we saw before, very important condition for repentance. This is a teshuva. As we saw, many many is all Torah. Right here is where he's talking about teshuva. Teshuva, repentance in in reverse there, but also Mashiach. He has Mashiach down behind the below. Judgment that you have to do it, and then you have Messiah under it because the condition is the Rambam says in the merit of keeping Torah. This is the condition. We love Messiah, so keeping the Torah comes next to this year. Shows the importance of year studying the Torah. In fact, you have a little bit higher tefillah. Yeah, prayer, prayer to God. You know? All right, so let's take a look at what else I found here in this table. Uh, that's actually really, really amazing. This is the same exact table that you just saw in the rabbi's video there. Same one. You see, we have the uh, Yamot Yeshua, the days of Yeshua, or the days of salvation is the access term. And then we got Shana Tav Shin Pei Dalet, which is the year, the year Tav Shin Pei Dalet, which is the current year. And then we have the word Torah that comes right here. Now, this is what was really interesting to me, to look at these um, different connections and these different extensions. So I saw the word Amet, Aleph Mem Tav, right here, connected to Torah. So we got truth and Torah that come together with that Tav right there. But then when you when you look at the column a little bit further down, you see you got Gassim, Gassim Mem Ata, uh, uh, Amet, excuse me, Gassim Mem Amet, which means, just so you know, I'm, I'm not pulling your leg, and we're going to look at a at, um, couple of resources here. Because I went to Google and went to do it in Hebrew, just, just so you could see. And this is the Google result 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 here. Gasim Amet. Realized from truth. But if we look at the do it in Hebrew, we can see the same thing. So we gotta we gotta consistent truth here. Gasim Amet. Realize from truth. Back to the code. Same one we were just looking at. Gassim Ma'amit. Realized from truth. Yeshu the days of salvation. The days of Yeshua. We've got Eliyahu. Which again is a abacus effect. If we look at this. We've got two words here. El, El and yod But if we highlight those together we've got Eliyahu in the matrix there to Shuva which goes in reversed here and Mashiach and for some of you guys of the evangelical uh you guys are looking for pre-trib rapture 
Um, the word rapture does appear here a couple times, but so does a time of distress or a time of tribulation as well. I, I get it that many of you are looking for a pre-trib rapture to take place and are failing to see that indeed we are all in tribulation. If you cannot see that the world is in tribulation right now, then, um, you know, you should probably pray about that. Um <laughs> Because there is distress in the world. So this is the latest Rabbi Glazerson table. And what an amazing one it is. Uh, very sh uh, small width of 5143. And this is in the Torah. I believe a clear example of uh, Yeshua code. Even though he may not re realize this. This is amazing to me. That he found something like this. And again, I found this. He found the rest. All right. Which quite often happens with uh, code searches where one another reproduce the same code and, and find additional information there. Uh, fascinating to me. Uh, the rabbi has been on a pursuit for many years to looking for the Mashiach and it's been under his nose the whole time. And uh, if you really want to know, Rabbi, there's a name. There's a name. <laughs> The days of Yeshua, the days of salvation. Fascinating code from the rabbi. Uh, and speaking of the times we're in, shalom to you. Be be, be looking for the next video. I'm, I'm really interested in what's going on the, on the coast of Florida, the Russian ships. We're going to be putting out a, 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 some information on there here real soon. You guys, I've just been super busy. Shalom to you. We'll see you in the next video.